For today's video, I will be showing you all my fan art from the recently released game Stray. I'm going to show you the entire process from start to finish, and if you're interested in how I added the final details to make the piece pop, and just for how long I spent on this, stay tuned until the end to find out.
I am now going to let you all in in how I added the final details for this piece. So I scanned over this piece, it must have been about two or three times, adding small details as I went. This included things such as writing on the signs, small stickers and drawings on the walls, mist from the vents, lines on the brick walls, reflective work on the puddles, and around the luminous signs, the cables as well. I didn't keep this just for the foreground either, I pushed this as far back as I could, with details as much as possible. This in my opinion helped really bring the piece more alive, however it's not something that's absolutely necessary, especially when you get to the background. I just wanted to do it for this piece because I've never pushed a piece this much before in my life and I just wanted to see how polished I could make it. I also felt like it created more atmosphere and a lot more to observe which made the piece really interesting. Another way to help your piece pop is add contrast, so at the end I also added extra shading and extra lighting to really help pull the piece together. And now for how long I spent on it. I spent a whopping 23 hours in 7 minutes on this. Now I don't know how accurate the Procreate's timing is, but that's just what it says on the canvas information. So I guess kind of like take it with a pinch of salt, it might be a bit less, might have been a bit more, but I definitely did spend a good few days on this. It's the longest I've ever spent on any single piece of art in my life. The longest. I think it's good to sometimes test yourself in ways you wouldn't normally, and for me this was definitely a test. I usually just do one hour pieces at max, so I wanted to see how far I could push things, something to polish, and I've learned new skills that are invaluable thanks to this. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, if you are into your games, or even if not, Stray is definitely something fun, and I would definitely check it out, especially if you're into art. It's got loads of really cool stuff. If you liked the video, feel free to like. If you have anything you would like to say, feel free to leave it in the comments. And if you want to see more videos like this, then subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next Monday. Bye!